the afternoon in Macau. Before my speech, I would like to ask you a simple question. Is there anyone who never uses disposable chopsticks? Please raise your hand. Neighbor, please raise your hand. Okay, obviously, everybody here has used the disposable chopsticks because they are convenient and portable and non washing So that's the biggest reason for everybody to use it. But I'm definitely against using the disposable chopsticks. So let's move on to the potential, and let's move on to reveal the potential damage of the disposable chopsticks. Are you still using the disposable chopsticks? This is the ingredients of the disposable chopsticks, the beautiful bamboos. And then we cut the bamboos into half, half, and half to make uh, disposable chopsticks. And then we, the worker, wash the chopsticks with the bleaches. And the bleaches are all about chemical materials such as sulfur and hydrogen parasite. And these are all harmful chemical materials. And after washing them, the chopsticks, we have to dry the chopsticks. As you can see, the two workers are stepping on the chopsticks and they didn't want to cross. The next one is the workers packing the chopsticks. And this is the worker. She didn't wear gloves suit. And, and the chopsticks is going to be the chopsticks you will use. And where are the chopsticks going? Where? By the sheep. But we, we cannot make sure if there are chemical cockroach materials or the mice in the store room of the sheep. So the chopsticks are going to all over the world, including Taiwan. And then let's take a close look at the chopsticks itself. This is the five fiber boundaries of the chopsticks itself. If you take a closer look at the chopsticks, you can see the shape is like a monkey's face. And the eyes and the mouse are the five, five fiber boundaries. And as I mentioned, the chemical materials and even some parasites. This is parasites. Okay. Parasites and the chemical materials who live in the, these two, in these fiber boundaries. And then what happened to the chopsticks? Of course, we use it to eat the food. Okay, as you can see, we eat the food with the disposable chopsticks. And after, do you know, according to a survey made by the Environmental Potential Agency, in Taiwan, we use 5 billion disposable chopsticks for a year. 5 billion. And what happened to the use the chopsticks? What would that be? Of course, we become the garbage. And where are the garbage going? To a valley or to a junk? Maybe we don't know. But in some countries like China, some factories will collect the used chopsticks and clean the chopsticks with the bleach, the chemi uh, chemical materials, and sell the chopsticks to you again. So are you sure in Taiwan it won't happen? Thank you.